Hey YouTube, so I went to go start this video and I got distracted because my cat decided it was loving time. Look Merlin. <laughs> so he'll be down there while I do this. So um, I mentioned uh, <laughs> stop motion and claymation in a previous video that um, is my hobby. So I thought, why not do a quick little uh, tutorial on making an armature body. So actually, hold on. Okay, sorry, I had forgot my pliers, because you'll need that. So for this, you'll need armature wire. Preferably, I use 1 16th diameter, and um, it's thick but malleable. You don't want it to be too thin or else... Once you uh, move it around, you know, like move the arms and legs around, it'll start to break if it's too thin. So, you do take it out, unravel, piece. Now, I haven't gotten this down to a science yet, so I can't say how long you should make your piece when you um, take it, but you just eyeball it, what looks right. So... This looks good enough. You get your pliers, cut it. So then you take your cut wire, bend it in half, take that top loop, and twist. You twist that, make a neck. I may have made my neck too big. Yeah, that's good. Nah, I'll do one more twist. So you take that. You're gonna eventually. We'll get back to this. this is where the head goes. You made your. You've made your neck. So then you take, split them in part, and make an arm. That looks about right. Don't want it to be too big. That looks okay. So you got your where your head goes, you got the arm. Then you just do the same. I'm gonna make it as even as possible. This is still somewhat new to me. I've been doing this for only really a couple of months, so. I don't have this down to a science yet, but you can usually get the job done. Okay, so it's even enough. Got the two arms, neck, take those two pieces, and now you're going to twist them in the middle. Make a torso. Take these two. And you're making legs. Now my legs turned out a little short, but that's okay because I'm not making this into a person. I'm making this into a cat, so it's not that big of a deal. So yeah, basically, so this is what you got. Two arms, two legs. Um, does see, like I said, I don't have it down to a science yet. You play around with it, and that's the basic idea of how you get the body. Um, so next time, maybe like cut some more so the legs turn out longer. But it doesn't really matter that this is short on the legs because I'm making it into a four-legged creature anyway. Like that. Yeah, this is going to be a cat anyway, so it's not a big deal that the um, arms and legs didn't turn out super even because 
It just looks fine anyway like it is. Once I put clay on this, it'll be a cat. And what you do for the head, so you'll either put styrofoam or maybe like some hard molding clay for the head. You take that loop and split it like I did. And then you just take that out and roll that out. And there you go. You have two little points where you can put the head into. And then you have your creature with the head. And um, it's pretty it. Pretty much it. <laughs> pretty simple. Um, I can always do, there's definitely so much more work into this once you start putting the clay on and doing the rest of the body, like the fingers and stuff, if you're doing a person. So I can definitely do more tutorials on that, but um, that's really it. Pretty little, just a little tutorial on um, making the body. Thank you for watching and have a great day.